Hi there, my name is Amy and I am Make Art Ride Bikes. Today I bring to you an upper body tune-up which is intended for cyclists keeping in mind that while cycling often you lose space in your chest and get short tight in this piece of your body as you hang onto your handlebars only to couple that with extending your neck to look at what's coming at you and where you're going. So there's a lot of things to work with when you are off the bike and then unfortunately most of us compact those issues as we go for a run or a bike ride and then go back to the desk. So these are some smart movements that I hope will help bring you some space, some relief and more than anything awareness. We'll get you to begin with your feet at your hip width. And plainly because we don't do it often enough just bend your knees forward. Bending your knees forward will fairly instantly drop your tailbone down, so you're already decompressing your whole spine. Bending your knees puts a little bit of work into your hamstrings in a quad dominant world. So feet are parallel, hip width, your knees just bent forward. And then from here, this is a stability exercise for your neck. Bend one elbow and put the nails, nail side of your hand on your forehead. To become immovable, to become strong and stuck in a good healthy place for your neck, push your forehead into your hand as much as you push your hand into your forehead. So let those two parts push against one another. That may give you the feeling that your neck is hyper straight and that is okay. So you're taking a bit of curve out of your neck, but you're airing out the space between your vertebrae and your neck by doing this. Your knees are bent, your tail is down, so lower spine gets a little bit of air as well. A couple more seconds, just shove your forehead into the nail side of your hand as the nail side of your hand pushes back against your forehead. Might not look like a lot, but if you're doing it, you should feel something, some sort of strength and stability around the whole neck lace of the neck. And then keep up with this strength, with this positioning, knees still bent forward, forehead still pressurized forward. And then as calmly as you can, just wipe your palm print onto the very crown of your head. This part might feel more exaggerated than the last one, push the round of your skull straight up into your hand, but also apply pressure of your hand down into your head. So both of these motions, the first one, the forehead into the hand, and this one, the palm against the skull, are both just strong opposition. So for as much as my hand comes down against my head, my head lifts up against my hand. Just try that out. Your knees are still bent, your tail is still down. And then next one for stability, keep the effort of your neck, your spine, your head, and then calmly let the palm just slide towards the back of your head. Your head hasn't moved, but your hand has. And then of course, same story, push your head into your hand and vice versa. So your neck should feel stronger, not necessarily stretched, but solid, strong, thoughtful. Then from here, this is a little bit more of a self-traction, a little bit more stretchy than strong. Bring your hands behind your head so your thumbs hit your hairline, the very bottom of your skull. Hands can be uh, flat or fingers interlaced. And then a bit more of a full body exercise. I'll get you to uh, engage the tissue with your thumbs. Feel the skin, the muscle on the back of your head. I'll turn to my side. Because your knees are still bent, to extra exaggerate, let's find straight, thick legs and let your thumbs pull your head up off of your neck. Bonus if you're willing to lift your eyebrows right here at the top. Bend your knees forward. Your hands are still pulling up. And then really sprout your head up as your legs go thick and straight. Your thumbs are pulling the back of the skull up. Let's just do two more of those. Knees forward, head still filled with effort. Legs straight, your thumbs can scale the head up, the skull, the neck up a little higher. Another time, strong bent legs, guts in, tail down. 
Strong, straight legs, eyebrows up, your hands pull your head up. Good, now keep the effort, the alertness of your spine, slowly loosen the hands down, so try not to overwhelm the body and try not to lose what you just gained. That's why we move slowly. Keep the memory of what it was like to just pull your head up with your own hands. And instead of really chin tucking, just exaggerate your ears up and your chin basically straight down towards the floor. Adding on, your chin is already down, pull your chin down and in towards your throat so the top of your skull will nod towards the wall in front of you. Now bend your throat more so that you eventually are looking at your chest. So this is still neck motion. Now when we make the effort to pull our chest, the sternum, the center breastbone of the body straight back, you've suddenly not engaged, but you've involved your middle back. So if you do look up at me, my middle back has moved. So you're adding on more pieces. Keep your eyes where they are. You're looking at your chest. Move the middle of your chest straight forward, then move it up, then start to lift your chin off of your throat. And this is beyond where you previously were. Stretch the front of your throat so your ears tip backwards a bit. And now not a chin tuck, go to neutral. Nod the top of your skull up. Bend your chin towards your throat. Bend it more as your head tips forward and then include your chest. Let that sink away. First, move your chest straight forward. Then move the middle of your chest up. Rippling effect as the throat lifts, the back of the head falls back, just a touch. And then not a chin tuck, go to neutral first, nod your skull up. Bend your chin onto your throat. Bend your throat so that you look at your chest. Move your chest straight forward, move it up. Find at the neck, just start to ripple and lift into that little extension. You don't go straight to flexion, you go to neutral. Chin down, ears up. Bend chin to throat, to bend throat more, look at chest. Pop chest forward, pop chest up, lengthen throat, lift eyes, and then I will add your shoulders. You've just been moving your neck, your middle back. <clears throat> lift your ears up towards the ceiling. Bend your throat like you've been doing. Let your chest lean back, and now let your palms absolutely face the wall behind you. Your fingers are straight. Your arms are just beside your body. Like you've been doing, pop your chest forward. Now stick your thumbs forward. Pop your chest up. Start to spin your thumbs out. Lift, in the, lift the chin. Lift the chest. Thumbs out towards the side wall, so your palms are just open to the front of the room. Lift your ears up towards the ceiling, point your thumbs forward. Continue to point those thumbs forward as you bow the chin. When you, you have moved your chest away from your chin, your hands can turn completely backwards. And then try to flow that, I'll be a bit less wordy. Thumbs forward, palms open, chest is rising, throat is rising. End up with the thumbs sticking straight out to the sides. Ears to the ceiling, bow chin, begin to rotate the palms backwards. You end up looking at your chest with your hands facing back. Thumbs towards me, chest towards me. Chest lifts, throat lifts, thumbs end up stuck out to the side and external rotation for your arms. Do it one more time, nod your ears up. Then start your chin tuck as your thumbs are moving towards your legs. By the time you're looking at your chest, your palms are backwards. Begin to stick thumbs out as the chest goes forward, it goes up. Lengthen out the front of your body, open up those palms, those biceps. And then stay where you are, neutral neck. Just pull the chin a little bit down to the floor, your head back on top of the body. Stay where you are, turn your hands completely around. And then just three strong pulses. Our fingers go down to the floor. Our ears stay up, torso is long. You're not going very far. Push your palms back. 
your straight arm line back. You might feel something in the front of your chest. Your anterior delt is getting a, a little bit of a, a lengthener right here. But let's muscle the triceps. Squeeze the backs of your arms as hard as you can. Just return the hands beside the body. Hands in the same direction. Our palms are facing backwards two more times. Palms push back, triceps squeeze, chest is bright and open. Head hasn't moved. Come back. Do one more. Palms are facing backwards. Push hands towards wall behind you. Come back. Very calmly turn the thumbs out, same motion. Don't expect the same range of motion. Your biceps are facing front, and then it'll feel a bit more literal to squeeze those triceps as the nail side of our hand pushes back. Arms beside you. Two times, muscle the arm bones back, fairly unchanged in the torso. Back to where you were. One more time, eyes stay forward, muscle the nail side of the hand back, and then back to where you were. Thumbs point towards front, so your hands, the skin of your palms is facing the sides of your legs. Bring your arms straight out from chest level. Expect this one to be a little harder. Right now my arms are not integrated, I'm reaching forward. There's a bit of a bump to my middle back, that's all good. And then big old exaggerated drag pulse fix of arm bone straight back into body. So you can watch that if you weren't looking. Disintegrate, reintegrate arm bones back. You can keep your head, your eyes up, but you can see your elbows in the corners of your eyes. Just robot bend the arms so your fingertips point up. Without actually moving, best kind of movement is movement without moving. Really drag your triceps, the upper piece of your arm, straight down to the floor. So feel pumped in those pits, feel wide in your rib cage, and just stabilize this bent lever. Let just the, the humerus, just the upper arm bone, sit deeper towards armpit level of body, deeper in the socket. Your elbows are maintained at chest level. You can, you can move the eyes, move the neck to see them. Next thing is to put your thumbs on top of your shoulders or almost on top of your shoulders without compromising the width of the elbows. So they are still at your chest width, shoulder width. Good, that's all, all I will show for this one. There's a whole lot more that you can do from this arm shape, but for now, just try to feel strong Feel something happening in your pits here. Middle back can have a spread. Try to manage nice wide collarbones. Really awesome place to relearn a bit of external rotation in your arms. Love that one. All right, I will do something a little bit more broad. So take yourself into a bit of a, a squat. I'll do this from the side yet again. Toes sticky out -y. You're not terribly worried about the squat. It's just so that we can plant our hands. Our knees bend, your fingertips are on the inner thighs. So this is an internal rotation of the shoulders. Um, this is more of a spine motion, you'll see in a moment. You've already cat cowed your upper body. That was all that neck stuff. See if you can get the whole thing. So still in your squat pose, can you bend your butt underneath you? Your guts will go backwards. Squeeze your chest and look down. Look down or better yet, look into yourself. Look at your belly button. Then start at the butt end of yourself. Stick your butt out. Your belly will pile forward. Ripple your chest up. Throat might lift. And then I prefer to start from the tail end with your throat still lifted. Bend your butt under. Squeeze your belly in and round. Do that a few times on your own. And you, and you can really put more weight into your hands, your legs. For me, I want a wider stance. Somewhat playful, but still working awareness here. And then come to neutral or more cow, more butt sticky outy. Bend, your elbows are still sticking out. Your shoulders are still rolled in. Bend one shoulder down, like so. So you're spreading the back of that blade. 
You can look up towards the other elbow. With reasonably straight arms, you squeeze back to middle and other side. So this is, this is more free, less specific. Drop one shoulder, look up and over the other one. Push out of legs, come back up. And then keep going, let that flow. Remembering to move the neck so you're looking over opposite shoulder. All right. So generally a crowd pleaser. Enjoy that. And then I will add a little arm latch to the neck motion we've already done. So feet back together, lace your hands behind your back. My elbows stick out. Then like you had already felt previously with straight arms, pull the head up, bend the throat back, bend the chest back. Let your arm bones roll in on purpose with your fingers latched. So your hands are against your butt or your lower back. Jump your chest forward. As your chest starts to come up, squeeze your elbows more straight. Arm bones roll out wide. Your eyes have lifted. Maybe you can squeeze the elbows and the wrists straight. Soften elbows, nod the head up. Bend the throat back. Your arm bones are rolling in. Look at your chest. Push your chest forward. Roll your arm bones out. The throat rises. Arm bones squeeze together behind you, elbows and wrists. I'll show one more of those soft elbows. Tuck chin. Bend throat. See your chest as the arm bones roll in. Chest forward, chest up as you start to roll the arm bones out. Squeeze elbows together. And then calmly loosen the hands, lift the head up. Go back to the beginning of this sequence. Strong legs, knees bend forward, intending to drop your tail. One hand on forehead, push your forehead into your nails and vice versa, nails into your forehead. Keep your knees forward, calm the hands to the top of the head, lift your head into your hands, let your hand apply pressure into your head. Hands behind the head, and we'll just do one clean fancy one to flow out. Our elbows are out, our knees are bent. Use your thumbs to engage the back of your skull as we squeeze legs straight, lift your eyebrows, lift your head up off of your neck. Keep your head where it is, super calmly bring your arms down beside you. And that is how to grease your shoulders. I hope that you feel more mobile, happier, brighter. Hope that you enjoyed these movements and do them whenever you need them. Thank you very much.